Jet Set. Grab a life vest because we're setting sail for travel news on Here's This. The Ritz-Carlton Yacht Collection is growing. The luxury brand's second ship, Ilma, departed on its maiden voyage this month. The vessel, which will spend its inaugural season sailing the Mediterranean, was fittingly named for the Maltese word for water. Mm. The 790-foot-long Ilma is larger than 624-foot predecessor Ev Evrima? Evrima. Evrima, sure. Which launched, in, which launched in 2022. Quote, it is with immense pride and excitement that we welcome Ilma to our growing fleet, said executive chairman and CEO Jim Murren in a news release. Quote, since Evrima's Sure. Mm -hmm. Debut, we have been steadfast in our pursuit of excellence at sea. The addition of Ilma signifies a continuation of our mission to deliver legendary service and unparalleled enjoyment to all guests. Now, along with the Mediterranean, the 448 guest ship will operate cruises in the Caribbean and Northern Europe, ranging from three to 13 nights. And the ship's week-long maiden voyage from Monte Carlo, Monaco to Rome, Italy, includes stops in Saint-Tropez, France, uh, but Batista on the island of Corsica and Livorno as well as Tuscany. I'd like to do every single one of these itineraries. Have you seen the ships? I have not seen the ships. Oh, I mean, I've so seen like, I've seen some of their other ships, but these two new ones. Stunning. Yeah. And I mean, like, it's very just, Nikki. it's very Nikki. It's so stunning. And I cannot wait to go on these ships. It looks so nice. Have you already booked yourself? <laughs> I've been very good this year, <laughs> Santa baby. <laughs> oh, is that is that your hope? Because yeah. like that? that one year we surprised you with Iceland and then the world melted. <laughs> yeah, I got to do it my own. <laughs> I mean, so these sailings currently range from five thousand two hundred dollars to fourteen thousand nine hundred dollars per person mm -hmm. based on double occupancy cap. Oh yeah, I mean this this is not coming at uh, uh huh. It's very high end, it's very luxurious, and so well appointed, and it comes with all of the trappings that you would expect them to have, so I can't wait. All right, let's mm -hmm. see if Nikki gives that to us this year for Christmas. <laughs> Europe's aviation safety regulator will require airlines to conduct a one-time fleet inspection of fuel hoses on some Airbus A350 aircraft. What? The move announced by the European Aviation Safety Agency follows an in-flight engine fire that erupted on a Cathay Pacific flight on September 1st, shortly after takeoff from Hong Kong to Zurich. The aircraft was powered by a Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engine. Now, the fire led Cathay Pacific to inspect engines on each of its 48 A350 airplanes, identifying that 15 of them needed replacement of engine fuel lines. What? The carrier expects to complete those replacements uh, shortly and has canceled over about 90 flights because of this issue. What is going <laughs> on? What, I just think- What is happening? So it's not unusual for like, it's just like your car. There's recalls issued all the time. All the time. So like, as these planes are in service, you're finding these issues that need more maintenance than regularly, you know, than, than you would have initially thought when the airplane was rolled out. Like when the Boeing 787 first came up, first came out, mm -hmm. it was, oh, there was a problem with it all the time. And in fact, there was a battery that continuously went on fire. Not until good. they figured that out and changed that, and then Boeing had all these other problems. But now we're talking about Airbus. Um, and that's a really long flight. That yeah. is a long flight. So I wonder like how far into the flight were they? And then all of a sudden they were like, uh, something's on fire. We need to turn around or land somewhere. Do you know what happened? I don't know what happened. Oh my God, you guys But all we know happening. is that they're fixing it so that it doesn't happen again. Well, that's great news. Yes, and they're doing it a lot faster than Boeing has done with their issues. Oh my God, Cafe Pacific, let's get back up in the air. Oh my goodness.